This training video will review the steps to install the camera in the mounting and aiming considerations. Let's begin with the pre-deployment steps. The camera comes equipped with an RJ45 configuration cable pre-installed for users that want to configure camera settings before installing the camera. The RJ45 connector on the configuration cable is accessible through the small flap on the side of the camera box for easy configuration before unpacking the camera. It's recommended not to leave your camera connected during the pre-configuration process beyond the time displayed and within the following ambient temperatures. Locate and open the flap on the side of the camera packaging. Connect a network cable to the RJ45 plug on the configuration cable. The network cable must provide PoE to power the camera during configuration. Connect to the camera using the video management software, the camera configuration tool, or the camera's web browser interface and configure the camera settings. Once you have finished making configuration changes, unplug the network cable. Be careful when handling the camera after configuring it inside the packaging. The camera may be hot when handling it or removing it from the packaging immediately after inbox configuration. Before installation, we recommend reviewing the user guide for important safety information and precautions when working on this equipment. The H5A Corner Camera Installation Guide can be downloaded from the Avigilon website. To begin, ensure that the required tools and materials are readily available. Have a small, slotted screwdriver ready for connecting power when not using power over Ethernet. Use a Phillips screwdriver for attaching the camera to an electrical box or mounting surface. Have a drill ready for drilling mounting holes in the mounting surface. Additionally, have ready a cutting tool to open a cable access hole in the mounting surface and silicone sealant. Ensure the package contains the Avigilon H5A corner camera, the RJ45 grommet piercing cap, the microphone audio cable, two cable entry grommets, a solid wall anchor kit, six mounting screws, and a tamper-resistant screwdriver. To begin the installation, remove the front cover and camera gimbal from the housing. Be careful not to scratch or touch the dome bubble. The resulting marks or fingerprints may affect the overall image quality. Keep the protective covers on the outside of the dome bubble until the installation is complete. Start by loosening the screws that fix the cover to the base. Pull the front cover off of the camera base. Loosen and detach the two screws that secure the gimbal to the base. Rotate the bottom part of the gimbal downwards after the screws are removed. Next, unhook the gimbal from the slot at the bottom of the housing and pull the gimbal out. Remove the RJ45 inbox configuration cable that comes pre-installed on the camera. Next, prepare the mounting grommets. There are six mounting holes in the camera housing. Each mounting hole is filled with a grommet to help protect the mounting points from water or dust. Determine which mounting holes you will use to mount the camera. Avigilon recommends using all six mounting holes to secure your camera to ensure the camera is mounted securely and make the camera ligature-proof. Pull the pins out of the grommets for the mounting holes that will be used. Next, follow the listed mounting and aiming recommendations to maximize the camera's analytics capabilities during the installation. Ensure the camera is installed above 2.74 meters, tilted downwards no more than 45 degrees, leveled with the horizon line, and mounted to a stable surface to minimize the physical movement of the camera. See the recommended guide for more details. In the next segment, cabling and mounting the camera to a surface is reviewed. To protect the camera and components from ingress of dust or moisture, you must pull the required cables through the sealing grommet included with the camera for the cable entry holes. Pull the tab on the grommet to open a hole for the Ethernet cable. Next, insert the cables through the sealing grommet. Unless specified otherwise, you must pull the required cables through the sealing grommet included with the camera when using a cable entry hole. Remove the sealing grommet from the accessory kit. Push an Ethernet cable through the grommet by one of the following methods. If the Ethernet cable is uncrimped, push the cable through the grommet. Or, 
If the Ethernet cable is already crimped, place the grommet piercing cap on the Ethernet connector, then push the cable through the grommet. Ensure that the orientation of the cable and grommet matches the one shown here. Push any other required cables through the grommet. If multiple cables need to be pulled through the grommet, apply the silicone sealant around any gaps. Next, mount the corner camera base. Place the base into the mounting location. Make sure that the mounting grommet pins have been removed. Use a pen or pencil to mark the spots that will be drilled into the mounting surface for the mounting screws. A Vigilon recommends using all six mounting holes to ensure the camera is mounted securely and make the camera ligature-proof. Remove the base from the mounting surface. Drill the six mounting holes and one cable entry hole into the mounting surface. Insert the wall anchors into the mounting holes. Pull the required cables through the cable entry hole. Insert the ceiling grommets with the required cables pulled through into the cable entry holes on the back of the camera base. Place the camera base in the mounting location and drive the six mounting screws to secure it in place. Apply silicone sealant around the edges of the camera base to prevent moisture from entering the mounting surface. In the next segment, the cable connection options are reviewed. If external input or output devices are part of the installation, for example door contacts or relays, connect the devices to the I.O. connector block. If the built-in microphone is used, the factory-installed audio cable will have to be connected to the inside of the front cover. Connect a network cable to the Ethernet port. The link LED indicator will turn on once the network link has been established. Next, connect power by either PoE or external power. If PoE is available, the LEDs will turn on. Next, mount the camera gimbal to the base. Slide the hook at the top of the gimbal into the slot at the top of the camera base. Next, rotate the gimbal into the housing. Use a Phillips screwdriver to tighten the two screws and secure the gimbal to the camera base. Before installing the front cover, a Vigilon recommends that you first connect to the camera and adjust the aim, zoom, and focus so that the camera covers the required field of view. See the installation guide for more information. Be careful not to touch or scratch the dome bubble. Any marks or fingerprints on the dome bubble will cause unwanted reflections. Attach the lanyard to the lanyard hook at the bottom of the camera base. Connect the LED cable to the connector on the front cover. If you're using the built-in microphone, connect the microphone audio cable to the connector on the front cover. Fit the front cover into place. Secure the front cover to the camera base by tightening the six screws with the supplied driver. In the camera, web browser interface, or the video management software, use the camera's image and display settings to zoom and focus the camera. Ensure this procedure is performed after the front cover is installed so that you can accommodate the focus shift caused by the lens bubble. Use the zoom buttons to zoom the camera in or out. Click here to focus the lens. Use the near and far buttons to adjust the focus manually. Once the camera is installed, there are a few ways to configure the camera. If you have the USB Wi-Fi adapter, you can access the mobile web interface to configure the camera. If you've installed multiple cameras, you can use the Motorola Solutions Camera Configuration Tool to configure standard settings. If the camera is connected to the VMS, you can use the client software to configure the camera. If the camera is connected to a third-party network management system, you can configure the camera's specialty features in the camera's web browser interface. For models that feature an SD card slot, resetting the camera will not affect the video recorded to the SD card. If the device no longer functions as expected, it can be reset to its factory default settings.
Use the firmware revert button shown here to reset the device. First, ensure the device is powered on. Use a paperclip or similar tool and gently press and hold the firmware revert button. Release the button after three seconds. Inserting the tool too far may damage the camera. Do not apply excessive force. That completes the steps to get started with the H5A corner camera. Ensure you're familiar with the exterior features of the camera to expedite the installation. Follow the listed mounting and aiming recommendations to maximize the camera's analytics capabilities during the installation. During the installation steps, mount the lens before connecting power.